The Philadelphia Eagles take a short ride over to MetLife Stadium this Sunday to battle against the New Jersey, I mean the New York Giants this Sunday. Will they contain Saquon Barkley like they shut down King Henry last week? Will Boston Scott go off and become the giant killer once more? I guess we'll see this Sunday. What's up, gang? This is Brian with Eagles Real Talk, the fly is covering the Eagles on YouTube. Thank you for tapping in with me today. If you're new to this channel, hit that subscribe button, leave a like and a comment on this video. Let me know if you have the Eagles winning this game and give me a score prediction as well. Let's get straight into it. Now this week, honestly, it reminds me of last week's matchup against the Titans, and I'll tell you why. Um, Jones, he's mobile, you know, he can run around a little bit like Tannehill. He doesn't have that many passing options, you know, in the past game, but he has a great running back in Saquon Barkley, similar to Han Tannehill and Derrick Henry. Last week, we completely just took away Derrick Henry from the game. He had 30 yards only on uh, 2.7 yards per carry. Actually, Tannehill ended up having more rush yards similar to last week with the uh, you know Jones running for 71 yards on 5.9 yards per carry in the tie versus the commanders he actually outpaced um, Saquon Barkley who had 18 attempts on 64 yards and 3.5 yards per carry so I feel like we're going up against a similar opponent as long as we shut down the run which if you know, we do that, we pretty much win every single game, but if we shut down the run and put a point of emphasis to just completely take out their best weapon, who is Saquon, I think the Eagles will fly out of there with another dub. Now on the other side of the ball, the Giants, now they're suffering in the run department. They're giving up 5.1 yards per carry, which is 30th in the NFL and 141.1 yards per game, which is 26th in the NFL. So they're a bottom five rush defense team. And that doesn't, you know, bode well for them going up against the Eagles with the RPO action. You know, Jalen Hurts, he can beat you on the ground or in the air, okay? And then you also have uh, Miles Sanders, who's just been a beast this year, running through dudes, you know, running like he's got something to prove. And then you got the Boston Scott, you know, uh, aspect to the game where he's obviously been the giant killer, you know? He's definitely, he has a thing going up against the Giants where he always has his best game of the season. And Nick Sirianni knows this, you know, he's really entrenched in the NFC East rivalry so I feel like he knows the history of Boston Scott going up against this team and I feel like he's gonna give you know Boston maybe six to eight attempts on the ground probably give him the ball in the red zone try to get him in the uh you know try to get him a touchdown this week um I think the run defense is definitely a problem for the Giants along with their O-line um as far as protecting the quarterback last week they gave up four sacks and 10 quarterback hits now that's not a good, you know, thing to hear if you're a Giants fan because the Eagles D-line, you know, they had six sacks on nine court with nine quarterback hits against the Titans last week. So obviously it's not a good matchup for them. And on the other side of the ball, the Eagles O-line is the best in the game led by uh, Kelsey, Lane Johnson, Jordan Maylotta. You know, they're just elite when it comes to running the ball and pass protection. Last week, Jalen Hurts had all the time in the world to throw the ball. And I think this week it's going to be similar, you know, when it comes to, you know, our secondary going up against their wide receivers. It's going to be a tough day for them to get open because we have Slay, who's just been on lockdown, and then Bradbury. You know, he's going up against his former team, so he's going to have extra motivation. Probably going to try to, you know, get out of that game with a pick six, to be totally honest with you, against Daniel Jones. Um, our secondary is only allowing a passer rating of 73.6, which is first in the league. So it's just going to be a hard time for them to move the ball, I feel like. I think it's going to be a similar game. I think we're going to blow them out. I feel like the score is going to be actually similar as well. I think the Eagles are going to score probably around 34 points and give up maybe 17 points to the New York Giants at MetLife. Let me know how you feel about my score prediction and drop yours down below in the comments. I'm Bri with Eagles Real Talk. Keep it real always. Catch you on the next video. Peace.